Hello Capricorn, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Capricorn is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Remember to hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Capricorn, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And we've got a hermit to start us out with. Um, I feel like right now, maybe this is a transitional time for you. Maybe we've been in hermit mode for a bit, and I wonder if we're starting to kind of come out of that. You know, I think that you've been on this, um, this journey of self-discovery. We've been kind of searching for the light within. Maybe we've been searching for clarity. We've been searching for answers, right? Well, let's see with some more cards here. Four of Wands. Yeah, we've been trying to process some things that have been happening. And I think that you've reached a degree of closure. And uh, it might be time for the Hermit to kind of reemerge, you know. We know we've got the Eon card underneath. We have a Five of Wands. Interesting. Queen of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Princess of Wands. Six of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Magician. Very nice. Um, yeah, it seems to me like we've been kind of, um, we've been a little bit withdrawn lately. I think that we've maybe sequestered ourselves from the world a little bit. I feel like you've disengaged from something, right? The Five of Wands back here. Maybe there's been some conflict, some fighting. There's been a struggle, right? And we've kind of just, we've given ourselves a time out. Maybe to, to get grounded, to get centered, to reconnect with ourselves, to get a, a bit of a higher perspective so that we can, um, that we can uh, find a strategy for moving forward, right? Because what we have over here, and then we've got this kind of, we got the reemergence here with the Eon card, right? So I think the Hermit is kind of, um, is, is tapping into to that inner power and we're, we're reemerging into the world, into this whatever the situation is, but I feel like you've got the right next step now to bring about the six of pentacles, right? Six of, we got five plus the ace, now we get the six. Um, I feel like it's a way of you, uh, a way for you to take something that is a challenge, an obstacle, something that seems maybe a little chaotic, and you're creating something stable, something successful with it. Okay, and this could be a work situation. It could be something with friends or family. It could be in a, in a relationship of, of some other kind. Um, I feel like the hermit is you taking a step back. Okay, reconnecting with yourself, reconnecting with, you know, uh, with the earth, with the elements, with spirit, and, um, and allowing yourself to uh, receive kind of the, the next uh, step. See, with this queen of swords up here, this isn't necessarily us trying to work out a strategy, you know, on paper and trying to calculate things. No, this is kind of us just taking a step back, looking at the bigger picture and letting the answers come to us, right? Letting our, our subconscious do its thing and just a plan will formulate, right? And uh, I think the magician is a good example of that. Um, but let's select the mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is a random card from the Smith Waite Tarot. This is the factor infinite and unknown. And let's see, maybe right there, we're going to put Alien Simon Mark Ripley right there on top. We're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together and it will give us the confirmation that we need. If you have a prediction about that card, put it down in the comments. All right, um, let's look around at our majors. Yeah, we've got, you know, we've got the Hermit, we've got the Eon. We've got the tower, we've got the magician. Um, and I think this is quite interesting because uh, we, we see the hermit has kind of gone within, searching for the light, searching for the answer, searching for clarity, searching for guidance, you know, uh, tapping into that 
that internal spiritual light, and then re-emerging, right? Coming out of that of that period. And I think it's, you know, this is you kind of exiting that hermit mode and you're emerging as the uh, as the magician, right? And I think the, the hermit and the magician is almost like um, uh, this, this kind of transformation. It's just this kind of revelation of yourself. Um, and so it could be there's a lot of inner work being done right now. It could be a lot of kind of self-development, a lot of changes. I almost wonder if you're kind of in this period of, um, I don't know, reinventing yourself or just making a lot of kind of, you know, a lot of internal changes. And when we reemerge, um, I think there's really going to be this kind of new power about you, right? And whatever this five of wands that, that was, uh, I think the reason that it's what prompted you to go into hermit mode, right? And maybe this is just generally too much conflict, right? Just too, too many people not getting along, too much chaos out there, you know? So we decided to kind of retire a little bit. We, we decided to go within and disengage from all of this fighting, right? And I think you really are making a lot of progress in your spiritual work. You're focused on those things that really, um, that mean a lot to you in terms of your spiritual growth. You know, maybe a meditative practice, maybe diet and exercise, maybe, you know, prayer and worship, uh, study, um, just things that, uh, you know, gratitude, things that, that affect your internal state. Yeah. And I think that you're getting a, things are being brought into perspective for you. Yeah. I mean, we do have a lot of fire. All these are, are really fiery cards, right? These here, very fiery cards. And of course we've got, um, well, we don't have any water energy, but we've got a little bit of air and we've got, you know, we got the earth cards here. The hermit is some earthy kind of energy too. But mainly it's, it's fire and earth. And so this is really, I think, um, figuring out a strategy for the future, really understanding what it is that you want, how, you know, we know we don't want this fighting, whatever, wherever it's taking place, generally or specifically for you. We don't want all this conflict, but what do we want? Well, we don't have the water cards. We need some water here. Um, we need to know uh, what it is that we're looking for, what it is that we truly desire, right? And that might be what the hermit is looking for because the discovery of that, of what is truly important to you, what is truly meaningful to you, that I think is going to allow, and that's part of the, the queen of swords up here because the queen is the water aspect of the suit that it's in. So the queen of swords is water of air. So this is kind of like um, we're getting that bird's eye view of the land so we can spot the water, yeah? And I think the, the realization of what your ultimate goal or desires are, how you really feel about things and what is really truly important to you, that's going to give you the direction moving forward. All right, that's gonna give us this ace of pentacles and maybe we're gonna start on this new path. I don't know if it's a new path, but I think when you reemerge from this, I almost see the, the hermit as being in, in a bit of a cocoon. And when we emerge from that cocoon, you're going to be not a different person, but you're gonna have a lot of your best qualities out on the surface, right? You're really, I think, taking charge, taking command, and, and you're gonna be creating the kind of life that you truly want. Well. We have to, of course, know what that life is first, okay? Uh, the four of, of wands here in the center is saying that you, you are uh, going to experience a kind of a closure to something. So it could be this um, part of this conflict, perhaps. You're finding a way to just um, to be okay with, with this being done, you know? Maybe this is something not worth fighting for anymore. Maybe this is something that you're literally walking away from. It's just, it's too much, right? So we're finding the closure and then we're going to reemerge and we're going to step out into the world and we're going to be, you know, maybe on a new path, but we're going to be on a path toward our happiness, toward the life that we really do truly want. Um, so whatever this is exactly, I feel like it is a disengaging from it. We're no longer involved in this fight. And, you know, maybe this is with a, a family member. Maybe it's something at, at work. Maybe it's a relationship, romantic relationship. Uh, it could be all sorts of different things. You're choosing not to fight anymore. 
okay? And instead, you're, you're choosing, I think, to channel some of that fight energy, right? Some of this striving, some of this aggressive fight energy. You're, I think we're channeling that into something that's more creative and more harmonious with the world around us. Something that's going to be constructive rather than destructive, right? We're still, we're still using all this fire energy, but I feel like we're using it toward, no longer toward, you know, um, things that are not conducive to our progress, let's say, but things that are going to help us create the world that we want. Okay, so the five of, yeah, the five of wands could say that you've, you've been kind of mad lately, you know, maybe, and it's maybe because there's just a situation going on at wherever, at work, at home, school, and it's just frustrating. And it, we just find ourselves getting angry, you know. Um, I think we're finding the source of this conflict, this anger, if it's just particular group of people or a particular environment we get into and that energy starts coming to the surface. I think the first step really is disengaging from that environment or from that person and, uh, you know, asking for clarity, right? Being open to, um, to seeing the bigger picture and putting everything into context and, um, and coming to a realization of what we want our life to be. Because we, we know we don't want to be in this energy. We don't want to be this upset all the time, right? So with the Eon card, I feel like this is us. Um, we're, as we walk through this doorway, we're learning what we leave behind. We're learning what we need to kind of say goodbye to in no uncertain terms. Um, and it's not a judgment on whatever this is, whoever's involved in this, it's saying that for me, this is not the right energy for me. This is not helping me get to my goals, my, my, you know, a very practical goal of having a harmonious existence and having a successful life and, and whatever that means to you. So maybe it really is that we have to, we have to close the door on this energy and whatever is, um, whatever in our life is bringing about this energy with us or bringing that out of us, you know? Um, and so there's a lot of introspection with the hermit, but I think this is a period of time where you are reconnecting with yourself, reconnecting with what is important, trying to put things into context and get a larger vision of your life so that we know what to do next. Okay. Because the tower in this position, this is what we don't want. We don't want these kind of explosive moments. We don't want anger and rage. We don't want conflict and we don't want destruction. No, we want to build. We want to be this, this magician. We want to create, right? We want to build up our lives. And, um, you know, we have here with the princess of wands, we have a tendency, uh, to maybe make impulsive decisions. He has a lot of fire energy. So sometimes we, you know, we, we, uh, we get into this, this mood, we get into our feelings, we get into this aggressiveness or this anger, and sometimes we do things that we don't really, that maybe we would choose otherwise, you know. Um, a little bit impulsive here. So I think it's important that we, we utilize this period of time to really to just to sit with things and not make any big decisions at the moment. See, we don't have any real swords cards here either. We don't have any water. We don't have any swords. Um, and I think in this case, we really need that, right? Because what do I usually say on this channel? Well, fire and earth, that's the manifestation, right? That's impulse to behavior. That's heaven to earth. That's will to action. That's the process of creation. That's the electrical current of creation, right? And usually a very good thing. But I think in this case, the fire to earth direct connection is too direct. And that's kind of, that's too impulsive. It's like we get the, we get that impulse and we act on it. Sometimes we have to separate the two. And um, I think right now we're separating the two with this queen of, of swords. That's saying, let's take a break from this fire energy. Let's step away from whatever this situation is. And let's get a, a bigger, uh, more objective kind of outlook. And I think all of that is really to avoid impulsive behavior that's going to do us more harm than good, right? And that's why the tower is here, I think, in this position. Because what we'd rather have instead is we'd rather just start building something new 
uh, if that's the name of the game, if that's what we've got to do, rather than just everything being such a fight, every everything being such uh, chaos and and um, such like disruption, you know, and such um, aggravation even. So we we're trying to avoid uh, the tower moments, yeah. And so in this case, we, we do need a little bit of air and a little bit of water to separate the fire from the earth a little bit so that we can get that broader perspective on things and, uh, you know, and get to, our, get to our magician energy, right? And taking that bird's eye view, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow us to see what our really good qualities are, about how intensely we, we feel things, about how... Um, how creative we are, about how much energy and ambition we have, um, about how much drive and how much focus and, and ability to really concentrate our powers, right? Well, let's concentrate those powers on building our life up and not tearing things down. Okay, so whatever this situation is, the message is to uh, withdraw from it, take a break from it, and get a uh, put it into some context and um, try to get a larger picture of your life and where you want that life to go. All right, let's do an angel number card to supplement this before we look at that mystery card. Three, 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 support, growth, joy, creativity, uh, community, vision, talents. Seeing the angel number 333 is a sign that it is time to focus inward. Exactly, right? Work on your skills, discover your talents, use your imagination, unleash your inner artist. Doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of competence. It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community. Well, the community aspect, that's the six of, of pentacles. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a life that is in harmony with with everything, you know, we're, we're part of the whole. Uh, where, you know, and maybe for the time being, we have to kind of sequester ourselves and go inward to realize what, what that means. What does it mean to be part of the whole? What does it mean to have a, a community around you? What does it mean to be part of, you know, um, the kind of ecosystem around us, right? Well, let's look at the mystery card. Maybe this will be a little bit of that water energy. If you have a prediction for this card, go ahead and put it in the comments. It's a six of swords. This is very good. Six of swords is um, it, usually it's a it's a journey by water, right? So again, we have this connection of of air and water, heart and mind, and that's what we need to invoke: our heart and our mind um, to get us away from this impulsive behavior, to separate the fire from the earth. Okay. This card is also really about getting away from. A situation that has been harmful to us. So really, I think that the Six of Swords is traveling away from the Five of Wands, and we're bringing all the we're bringing all the problems with us, right? We're bringing the swords with us because we're we're going to sit with them. We're going to think about them. We're going to put them into context. We're not engaged in the fight. We are retreating to safety so that we can assess what's going on and we can get a, a broader idea of what it is, right? So I think this is a very good card. This is a, a card that says we are harmonizing our heart and our mind. We're invoking our heart and our mind to really think about things and feel things before we act on our impulses. But to do that, we have to get away from what is kind of sparking all that fire energy to begin with, right? So this in some ways is us walking away from the problem. You know, walking away from the situation itself so that we can actually deal with the problem. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to do an extended reading. If you want to stick around, there's a link up top. There's one down below. New readings for Capricorn Thursday and Sunday, 6 a.m. Chicago time. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know that you're the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you and we're all in this together.